Hey guys, welcome to the 134th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on um, our button. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is have text on our button, because right now um, this button could do anything, and it doesn't really look like a button anyways. So in order to add text to our button, we're just going to go over to our buttons designer and drag a label onto our button. Now if we were to just leave it like this, and then the label would always be in this location on the button, and not the center, it would be in the same point, or the same point. So on a button this size, it's fine, but if we had a button much larger, like this, then it's just going to be up there in the upper left hand corner. So we're going to have to tell the C-sharp compiler that we always want it to be in the middle. So what we're going to have to do is go over to the onPaint uh, method and tell the C-sharp compiler where we want the label. So we're going to say label one dot location equals a new point and then we're going to have the um, x location of the button to be um, the width of the entire button divided by two so that would be the center of the width so this dot width divided by two and then same thing for the height so we're going to say this dot height divided by two and this should um, draw the label approximately in the uh, center of the button. So now I'm the debug and build the solution, you can see that mm, it's a bit off. And that's because it is actually drawing it at the center of the button. However, the label is drawn from the upper left hand corner of the label. So we're just going to have to tweak things a little bit so it's actually drawn in the center, or it looks like it's drawn in the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract this by the um, the width of the label, so we're going to say label one dot width, and then we're just going to subtract it from uh, whatever it gets from this, and same thing for the height. So this should just make things um, a little bit better. Minus the label's height. Okay. So now when we go back here and build the solution, we see now it's on the other side. So now what we're going to do is basically just divide this by 2 to find the middle of that as well. So we're going to say label 1's width divided by 2 and same thing for the height. So now it should be drawn in the center and now it should appear as though it's drawn in the center so it looks just much better. Now we go back here and build. Yep, perfect. In the exact center. All right, so right now we cannot change the text of this. There's, there's no way to change it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a property in our My Button class. And this will work just like a property in any other class. Just set up a property. And we're going to make it public so that the user can change it. And we're going to set it, or have it be a string. because It's a text, so we need it to be a string. And we're just going to name this property, um, I guess, button text. And then we're just going to have it get uh, label one's text. All right, so we're just going to have it return label one's text. And then for the uh, set, we're just going to set label one's text to whatever the value that the user set the property as. So we're going to say label one's text equals value. All right. So now let me go over here and click uh, build. Now when we go over to the properties panel, you can see we have um, a property in the properties panel called button text. So we can just set it right over here from the properties panel. So I'll just make it say Adam's button. And there we go. So now when we debug here, we still have that text. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.